Hi everyone, welcome to Rain Francis Art for Kids. My name is Rain. In this series, Animal Farm, we draw all sorts of animals. So let's draw. Today I'm going to show you how to draw this cute little mouse. So let's begin. This is what you'll need for today's drawing. You'll need a piece of paper. I have this dollar store drawing pad. It's eight and a half inches by 11 inches. You're going to need a pencil, an eraser, and if you have an old paintbrush hanging around that you haven't used for paint, it comes in really handy to dust off your page. You're also going to need some color. Our mouse today is going to be gray. If you don't have gray, you could always use blue or silver. We're going to use pink for his ears and we're going to use black. If you have a black fine liner pen uh, marker like I do, that's what I'm going to be using. But if you don't have one, you can use a black coloring pencil. Okay, so why don't we clear off our space and we can begin. So let's begin by drawing the mouse's head. Did I say drawing? I said I meant drawing. <laughs> okay, the first thing we're going to do is draw a circle or a half circle, just like that. And then we're going to come out about halfway down this side of the circle and we're going to draw just this kind of lima bean shape here. And then over here we're going to draw a big circle or half circle. We can stop there and we can bring a line down here and a little line down here. That's one of the ears, so we're going to add the second ear up here. He's got big ears, but it's behind, so we're not going to draw the full circle. It's behind this ear. Okay, and now we'll do the inside of the ear like this, and then just a line here. Now what I'd like you to do, do you see this line here, this part of the circle? I'd like you to erase that, okay? And if you end up erasing anything else, don't worry, you can just draw it back in again. Okay? I erased some of the mouse's head here, so I'm just going to draw it back in. All right, now let's give him a nose. He's got a little nose right here at the end. It's kind of like an egg shape. You might hear my dog snoring in the background. It's a beautiful sunny day today, so I don't have my bright lights on. I thought I'd do this just with the windows open and I think it's working out okay. I think you can see pretty well. So let's give him some big eyes some big oval eyes. There's one here and one here. And inside those big ovals we'll do another oval but watch where I'm going to put them. I'm going to put them at the edge here on both eyes. That's going to give the illusion that he's looking at us. You see? It's like he's looking at us here. And let's give him a smile. Do you see where this line connects with this line? Let's just extend that up and give him a big smile. Okay? So now let's do his body. He's got a short little body and it's kind of round. Like that. And then it comes out little bit in the back like this. Are you settled down Raven? <laughs> My dog Raven is um, she makes a lot of noise when she moves around when she lays down she just goes plop. <laughs> 
All right, so now we're going to give him some feet. About here, watch how I'm doing this. I'm coming outside and I'm giving him some toes, flat foot, and then up. Okay, now watch what I'm doing here. I'm going to go at the top of the round that we did, just at the bottom of his neck, and I'm adding another bit of round right there because I want him a little fatter and this is going to remain white. That's his belly. So around this area here, we're going to give him another foot with three little toes. And it's behind this one, so we can put his ankle like that. I hope you can see that. Let me move this up a little bit. That might be better for you to see. Now what I want you to do, you see this line here? I want you to erase that line, okay? And if you've accidentally erased anything, just put it back in. There we go. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to give him some arms. Now he's got one arm kind of here and he's got short little arms, now watch. His hand is kind of going down like this. So his fingers are going to be at the bottom. I'm just giving him three little fingers. And then back up like this. And we'll put his other hand on this side, just coming out like this. One, two, three. Okay, so now we have to put his tail on him. His tail is going to go up and around like that. And we'll put in his whiskers later. Let's concentrate on putting some color in first. So how are you guys doing? Did you get your, your mouse drawn well? Okay, so let's grab our pink color and we'll start by just filling in the pink of that ear right there. Got a lot of dust on my page here. If you're using a coloring pencil, I want you to press very, very lightly and turn your pencil once in a while so that you don't break the tip. Now, I color in circles, little circular motions. I don't like to color with straight lines because I don't like the way straight lines look when you color them, but that's just me. If I want a line to look straight, I will definitely color with a straight line, but otherwise I just use little circles. And I'm turning my pencil. One of the reasons why we want to turn our pencil as we're coloring is so we don't put too much pressure on one side and the tip will break. But also you could wear it down on one side if you always use the same side and then you have to sharpen it more often. And you have to buy supplies more often and we want to try to save money and keep our art supplies for as long as we can. So we're just filling that hole inside of the ear with pink. Okay, now we're going to put a second layer and all that means is that we're going to color over it a second time. That's what a layer is. This is the first layer. Now let's go ahead and color in a second layer. That's why I told you you don't have to press hard. You see the difference? One layer and two layers. Two layers is always, I think, a nicer look because you get a nice deep pink here. Okay, don't forget to turn your pencil. And this applies if you're using crayons as well. I want you to turn your crayon once in a while, just so you don't wear it down all on one side. So 
someone asked me once, how do I know if I'm pressing down too hard? And what I usually say is, well, if your hand is hurting, you're pressing down too hard. There, that's a nice pink. I'm just going over a few little spots that I think need a little more color on it. So I guess I'm kind of loosely doing a third layer here, coloring it in a third time. There we go. I'm happy with that. So why don't we take, oh, I hope you guys were able to hear me. My microphone was under my sweater here, so let me fix that. Hope you were able to hear me there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to color in the entire mouse, except for this area here, which is going to stay white. His belly's going to stay white. And don't get any gray into the eyes. I don't mind if you get it into the nose because we're coloring the nose black. But let's go ahead and fill in the entire mouse, except for those areas I told you about. And don't forget to turn your pencil once in a while. and press very lightly. No need to press down hard. I'm just being careful right now not to get um, any of the gray outside of my mouse. I'm going to start with one layer and then I'm going to go back and put a second layer on after I've uh, colored in the entire mouse. Don't forget to turn your pencil and try not to get any of that gray into the pink. What do you think of mice? Do you like them? Or do they make you jump up on a chair and scream, eek? <laughs> I used to be afraid of mice. It's funny, eh? They say elephants are afraid of mice. I don't know if that's true. Elephants are very big. They don't seem like they would be afraid of mice, but I guess you never know. I'm being very careful not to get the gray inside of the eyes right now. So like I said, don't worry, you can get the gray inside the nose because we're going to be coloring that in black. So you don't have to be too picky about that. Don't forget to turn your pencil. I'm really happy that I don't have to put my bright lights on today. Most of my videos, I, I always have to put the bright lights on because uh, outside my window I have a very big tree. It's a maple tree. And if there's any wind, it blows up against the house and it kind of blocks out the sun and then the sun shows and it blocks out the sun and it, it makes the camera go dark and then light and dark and then light. But today there's no wind out there, so I can relax and enjoy and not worry about bright lights. I like that. I just want to make sure that everyone can see what I'm doing. I want to film a few videos this weekend, so I'm hoping that the wind will stay away so that I can. That would be really nice. Okay, remember, we're not getting any gray into the belly, but we are going to make sure that the hands, this hand here, is gray. Okay, how are you guys doing? Did you choose gray, or is your mouse a different color?
Don't forget to turn your pencil. And if your hand is hurting, maybe you're pressing down too hard. We had a problem with mice about two, well, maybe one month ago now. We had mice in our basement. And I don't put down traps that would hurt them. I put down what's called a live trap. It's just a little kind of a, a cage where they can get in, but they can't get out. And you put food inside the cage so that they're attracted to it. And they, they run into the cage, but they can't get out of the cage. So you have to make sure to check the trap every day. And what I do is I bring them, uh, I live in the country, so I bring them about a 15 minute walk away from my house and I release them into the woods. And at one point I was getting four mice in the trap every day. I think I have, yeah, I have a picture. I'll show you that right now. This is a picture of the live trap with the mice in it. They're so cute. They're tiny. They can fit into little holes. Okay, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna put in a second layer. All that means is that I'm coloring it in a second time. There's just some dust on my page here. So I'm gonna go in and color that in a second time just to make that gray a little bit darker. Can you see the difference between one layer and two layers here? It really makes a difference. And you can choose to put in as many layers as you like. You might want to go with three layers or you might like it the way it is with one layer. It's your drawing so you do whatever you want. Okay, don't forget to turn your pencil. I'm gonna just try to be careful here not to get any into the pink or outside of my line. But if you do, no big deal. We're doing this for fun, right? I just wanna teach you how to draw and how to choose colors and how to apply colors in a way where you don't hurt your hand <laughs> and you don't wear down your uh, your pencils too quickly. I'm being very careful here. I don't want to get any gray into the eye, which I just did, but that's okay, Rain. We're not trying to be perfect. I really like the way this is looking. Are you guys happy with what you're doing right now? Remember, don't worry about getting gray into the nose. That's gonna be black. Do you have mice where you live? I think a lot of people who live in the country have mice. It can't be helped. They live in the woods and they live in the fields. And <laughs> if you have the tiniest little hole in your house, they'll find it. <laughs> I have cats and they're not outdoor cats though. They stay inside. And uh, if ever a mouse came up, they would definitely chase it. And that's probably why the mice stay in the basement because the cats aren't allowed in the basement right now. Because it's not a finished basement, it's just, you know, it's dirty, dirty down there. It's not all cleaned up like the upstairs of the house, you know. We're in the middle of renovations, so cats aren't allowed down there. 
but if they were I'm sure we wouldn't have as many mice but right now we seem to have gotten rid of the mouse problem because we had our basement insulated and they plugged up all the holes so the mice can't find a way in. I'm sure they're gonna try though. <laughs> Especially, you know, when it starts to get cold out, if you live in a northern climate like I do, they're looking to stay warm too, you know. And in cartoons, you always see that mice eat cheese. Well, we put some cheese into the trap and they didn't even touch it. They like the sunflower seeds though. Don't forget to turn your pencil. We're using a lot of gray. So my pencil is starting to get dull, but I think I have, I don't have to sharpen it before I finish here. I'm gonna try not to have to sharpen that. Okay, we're almost done here. Now I'm just gonna go over it a little bit to see if there's any spots where I think needs a little bit more gray, but overall I think it's okay. I might just do a third layer really, really quickly. Are you doing a third layer too, or you're, are you happy with two? Or did you just do one? I just find it so relaxing to draw and to color. And you know, my pets, they always fall asleep when I start doing this. <laughs> they feel that calm energy, I guess. Okay, I'm okay with this. I think this is good. Now, what we're going to do is you can take your, if you have your marker, you can use your marker. If not, use a black coloring pencil. And we're going to color in the nose black. I like using a marker because it's um, a lot darker than the coloring pencils. And I like to outline things. I think I might outline the whole mouse today. Okay, so he's got his little black nose. Actually, while I have my marker out, I am actually, I'm going to outline the entire mouse. So everywhere that I drew with pencil, originally when we drew the mouse, I'm gonna outline that with this marker. And I think this is a good idea to do if you want to because it teaches you to take your time, pay attention to detail, and be patient. When we're doing outlining like this, we can't rush it. Because if you rush it, you might miss a spot or you might do something that you don't like. And especially if you're using marker, you can't erase marker, right? So let's just take our time and slowly outline our whole mouse. I'm going to outline the eyes while I'm up here, okay? Just outlining those eyes. And we're going to color in the pupils here black. So let's do that while we're here. There. 
Now I'm going to do the other eye. He's a happy little mouse. One of my friends, um, she had mice as pets. She kept them in a, a cage in her bedroom. And you always heard them scurrying around and <laughs> They were really cute, little white mice. Okay, so I'm going to continue with the outlining. And I can't talk while I'm doing this. It's hard for me to do two things at the same time especially when I'm paying attention to detail. So just concentrate on what you're doing. I think this is going to look really, really good at the end. mistake there. That's okay. No perfection, right? <laughs> Here we go. How are you guys doing? You doing okay? your time. You don't have to go as fast as me. I'm used to doing this. So so how are you doing? Did you get everything outlined? I'm at the point where I'm going to do his tail black. And they've got little thin tails, so just outlining that tail black. Just like that. And I think I'm going to give him some eyebrows. Some happy eyebrows. And maybe a little cheek. If you've watched my other videos, do you remember how to show how to draw a cheek? It's just a semicircle on the top of the mouth. And it looks like he's got a cheek there. Okay? So the last thing I'm going to do is give him some whiskers. Just a few little whiskers. Whoosh! Whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> Don't forget to make that noise. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. There, he's got his whiskers. All right, now remember the last thing I want you to do on everything you draw and paint or create, sign your name. I want you to take ownership of this beautiful work of art that you just did and be proud of yourself. I hope you enjoyed this lesson, my friends. And remember to mom and dad, if you post your kids' art on Instagram, don't forget to tag me. I'd love to see it. The link is in the description below or in the about section of my channel. So we'll see you next time on Animal Farm, my friends. Thanks for watching. Bye.